My name's Elaine Mann. I'm fundraising officer for Taekwondo Machine. I've been doing this role for about two years, but I've been part of the club for a little bit longer. It's great to achieve something, to win a funding opportunity and to be able to bring something to Taekwondo Machine, which all the members can benefit from. The way that it's impacted, we've got new equipment, we've been able to set up female-only sessions, the atmosphere, the people, what we do, it benefits everybody. It's such a good community club and it keeps people off the streets and that's what we need. My name is Liam Gray. I'm the lead coach at Bellevue Amateur Boxing Club here in Central Gorton. I'm an ex-amateur boxer myself who decided, because there was lack of opportunity for young people around here, to start up my own amateur boxing club. The most enjoyable thing about what I do, without a doubt, is helping young people progress and develop and giving them something really constructive and worthwhile to do. I suppose what keeps me motivated and continuing doing what I do is coming back to the people that we help here. Also, to help Gorton itself, which has in the past had a reputation, we produce some great boxers who make great progression and that really is my satisfaction in doing this. That's what keeps me going. My name's Steve Hempstock. I'm Chair of City of Manchester Squash Club and I've been involved with the club for over 10 years. Since I've been Chair of the Squash Club, we've managed to grow it from two teams in the North West Counties and one team in the Cheshire Ladies League. We now have six teams in the North West Counties, two teams in the Cheshire Ladies League and a racquetball team. We've grown from around 15 members to currently around about 80 to 85 members. What I really enjoy about this is giving my time to help people to get into squash and really enjoy their squash. We just help them to, to grow and develop with the sessions that we run. I'm really proud of the achievements of everyone that's come through this squash club. That's what pleases me the most. My name is Barbara Snelson. It's 45 years I've been to this club, Blakely and North Manchester. Our club's a lovely club and every child is welcome here whether they can't walk very far or run. We are a family club. They just love coming. Once they've been, they can't wait to come again. And when a child first time gets around the track, they're so pleased with themselves. It's like they've won the lottery or something because they're so pleased and excited. And we're pleased for them because you get such a lot of joy with these little ones. You've got to care about the children. If you've got no patience, you'd no good coming here. I mean, obviously, it's denied as a kite sometimes, but that doesn't make any difference. They're enjoying it, and that's what it's all about. Our children here left and gone to college and gone to university, and they come back to see you, and they say, good gracious, are you still here? I said, yes, I'm still here. <laughs> My name is Helen Hardy. I'm the founder of Manchester Laces, Manchester's first inclusive women's and non-binary football club. I think it's so important that we remember that sport is a vehicle for a community to come together, to meet new people from all different backgrounds and learn something new every day. In Manchester, we decided to launch a league called the AF League, the Alternative Football League. It's a seven-a-side league for beginner adult women and non-binary people. Most women didn't have access to football growing up, so there's a lot of adult women who are just joining football for the first time who maybe felt empowered by the incredible work of our lionesses in the summer. I just feel so proud to be part of it. It genuinely wouldn't be here without the community that's created it and built it. Not just a football team, it's, it's a way of life. 